We were driving 160 miles north from Bath to Jodrell Bank, the home of the Lovell Radio Telescope and the Blue Dot Music Festival. Standing at an impressive 250 feet, Lovell is the third largest steerable radio telescope in the world. Completed in 1957, the telescope helped track Sputnik and a number of the initial Soviet and American probe missions to the moon. Tom Baker's doctor met his demise falling from a replica of the telescope, and it made a brief appearance in the Hitchhiker's movie. Despite some congestion on the roads, we arrived on the site just before nightfall. It didn't take long for the rain to start. Because of my inability to follow good advice, I hadn't actually brought any wellies. Instead, I'd convinced myself that my trainers would see me through. This, rather predictably, would prove to be an error in judgment. This was actually our second time at Blue Dot. We'd attended the festival's debut back in 2016 and found its heady mix of music and science to be extremely appealing. need to dance satiated, we made our way back to the tent. Secretly, I was hoping we'd seen the last of the rain. We had not seen the last of the rain. After breakfast, we made our way back onto the main site, but it was becoming increasingly clear that my trainers simply weren't up to the task. Giving in to the wrong-headedness of my original thinking, I relented and we purchased some wellies, a decision that would serve me well in the days to come. If you've seen any of our other videos, you'll know that we have quite the thing for Bill Murray and this little manoeuvre from Ghostbusters. I've tried my best to ensure that the Bill Murray spin has gone international. And, I was heartened to find that it was being performed with great enthusiasm on the Blue Dot site. Bill, I think, would be very proud. The weather seemed to even out momentarily at lunchtime, but it was already abundantly clear that the sheer amount of rainwater was beginning to cause a problem. Escaping the mud for a while, we made our way to some of the exhibitions to immerse ourselves in some science. Yeah, Mr. White! Yes, yeah, science! Manchester University is well represented on the site, and if you have any interest in space, technology, or even graphene, it comes highly recommended.
Failing everything else, there's always the Lovell Telescope, which never stops being impressive. Our main draw to the festival this year, apart from the incredibly large radio telescope, was the appearance of pavement on the main stage that evening. Being long-term fans of the band, we were excited to meet them during a signing in the Rough Trade tent later that day. My son had seen the Barbie movie the night before, and he'd messaged me quite excitedly to inform me that Pavement's lead singer had been mentioned in the script. This seemed like a great opportunity to raise it with the band. I think I was hoping I'd be the one that broke the news to them, but alas, no. Yeah, we just heard that last night. That was a big talk. My son messaged me last night and said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now he's a kid about it. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I'm thinking more records. That was great. Yeah. After shamelessly fanboying for a while, it seemed the right time to catch some more music. For a brief moment, it felt as if the weather would hold, but then the rain returned. I guess. Don't send me it. You keep it.
pavement were predictably excellent. Soaked to the bone, but immensely satisfied, we began to make our way back to our tent. Brett Morgan's excellent Bowie doc, Moonish Daydream, was playing in the cinema tent. Stopping for a while, we caught the closing minutes. Bridget does a great line delivery of Bowie's closing monologue, but the man himself probably does it better. Does it matter? Do I bother? Yes, I do. Life is fantastic. The sun finally came out for about half an hour on Sunday morning, but the ground had become increasingly challenging to navigate. Just getting across the site was beginning to feel like a substantial workout. So the nice security guard that helped us find beer yesterday told us when we got here that the site was still closed because they were having big important discussions about whether to open at all. I can't think why. I can't think why. It is a little bit of a quagmire. Yeah, a little bit. But the site is open, so I assume that means the decision was made. No sign of our beer assisting security guard now. So, no. But thank you to him, wherever he is. Mm -hmm. And, He's um, been great all weekend. He has been great all weekend at helping us find beer, and uh, I think that's the plan now. As is the way with our videos. We what time is find it? Some beer. What time is it? It is. It's nearly eleven. That's fair. Elevens is. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Wisdom eventually prevailed. That and the fact that the festival's bars didn't seem to open until at least twelve. With time on our side, we decided to set about taking some of our belongings back to the car. It's raining again. Raining. Um, but the car's all ready. Mm -hmm. So we now know what a tow eye is. Yes, we so do. So we're ready for tomorrow. Yep. Um, do you think we're going to get out first go? No. Okay. Should we put money on it? All right. Fiverr says we don't get out first go. Fiverr says we do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Confident. Nice. Um, we can use the very. Oh, there's very I'm going to play this very shortly. Because it's uh, sound, because it's I'm waiting. With sore ankles and legs, we made our way from Adam Buxton's Bowie Bug to the rough trade tent for a very special signing.
As the weekend's drawing to a close, what have been your high points of the Blue Dot Festival? Not the mud, that's for sure. Uh, not a high point. Um, probably pavement, uh, a meeting pavement, and establishing with pavement that they knew they were in the Barbie movie. Um, uh, oh, and Go Team. I really like Go Team. I think Go Team are really good. What was the best thing you ate? Oh, probably the macaroni cheese with uh, pesto. That wins. I mean, everything's too much. <laughs> you know, it's we, a. It's we a, did promise we weren't going to talk we about prices. Talk about it, but it is like a, a microcosm of the capitalist society gone mad, and what would happen if everything was just left to ref, run rampant? People are pissing all over the place. You're wading through mud. Yeah, well, we're not talking about that. And everything's a little bit, you know. But yeah, yeah, it's good. I think I want to change my bet with Bridget because uh, there's no tractors up here and my chances of getting the car out where the tractors have torn all the ground up is not great. Uh, shit. Achievement unlocked, Helen, um, getting the tent back in the tent bag intact, all parts and getting the zip done up. Thank you very much. I might want to change my bet. <laughs> oh, we're, not, we're not getting off this side. Ever. <laughs> Ever. We've no. here till next year. Oh, God. Accommodation. True. Okay. Low gear, low gear, low gear. Okay. Didn't even get as far as that. It's okay, it's okay, we're still going, we're still going. Go. So apparently help is on the way. Um, how far do you think we got? Oh, like 20 feet. 20 foot? Yeah. yeah. Quite a way to go. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I'm, I'm putting a bit of a slide on it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> we didn't have to wait that long. I can't, it's like going through the sea. <laughs>